What is up guys, Coach Kai here, leader of the Radical Rhinos, man, of course, and we are bringing you another part to the Pokemon Legends RCS playthrough, of course, man, I'm excited, loving this game, last part, we left off taking on that noble Pokemon, I think it was, I think the name was Liliganth, was the name of it, had a fun time, man, we are lit right now, playthrough's going great, if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, and enjoying the content, join the playthrough, of course, also catch me live streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Kozakai, where I'll be streaming live, what we're supposed to be doing now, I believe our mission is to uh, basically report back to Commander Commodo, is uh, what we're supposed to be doing now, but, you guys ain't noticed, man, I got me, oh crap, I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> give me one second, Okay, there we go. I threw him way too close to that Badoo. Okay, luckily I didn't, I didn't kill the Badoo. It's still alive. It's right there. Little cute little Badoo. See, I don't know why it's running right in front of me. It's crazy. So yeah, we have like Cleaver now, guys. It took me a while to dig for that block. Augurite. Yeah, I'm saying it right. To evolve the Scyther into Cleaver. It won't shut up. But guys, we finally got it. Let me show you guys the team. I think I may have... Uh, leveled up a little bit since the last part. Uh, we do have the level 32 Cleaver, level 30 Rhyhorn, 32 Haunter, 35 Luxray, 35 Dartrix, and 32 Krogunk. Yes, sir. And we have 30 bands on us, man. We're actually balling out. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, man, I'm loving the game so far. I'm having a, a swell fun time, and it seems to always be raining whenever I'm playing. So, uh, yeah. But uh, let's go ahead and head back to Jubilee Village, I believe. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hey, what up, my boy? I already forgot his name. Benny, how could I forget his name? Found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Commodore a report? Your meal can wait. Of course, let's go report to Kamado. Ooh, Commander Kamado. Without the jacket on, like usual. So you successfully calmed the ligand. Yes, I did. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. And frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. Alright, we beat our Zeus predicament. Mission complete. Respect gained. There you go, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Now, this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? Ah, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Coast Guy. It's for an item that should keep help. That should help scatter the, the, these gloomy thoughts. You obtained scatter bangs. Recipe. Come now, don't worry yourself. So, my girl, as a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words are worth taking to heart as long as we truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. The next day. Morning, sleepyhead. Oh, it's Arzu. Oh, and Kalaba, I think her name was. You never guess what? I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser shop. Oh, really? I may be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still gonna be little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. She a hustler. Anyway. Come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Ghost Guy. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. All right, bet you gotta, you gotta, you gotta mess with me on the price though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give me a little, little ten tips at all for something. You know what I'm saying? 
I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Oh, that's Edith. Come on, Clow. Mr. Kamado, sir, uh, so about that whole Ursula Luna situation. You are to work here in Jubilee Village. You are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from, welcome, Arzu. Kamado, a real one. And you, Kosakai, you will come with me. All right, bro. It's a prelude beach. Nice. Oh, okay. These people have just arrived here in Nasui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. We got some foreigners up in here. Let's go. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It's where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hasui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. I think his name is Kochika. We've also heard from the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely to thanks to Cold Sky here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Yes, I'm Scout. Through the combined efforts of our team, of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Sui region. Damn, he bow legged like crazy. Bosley, huh? we look forward to doing our port, Commander. The advancements, the advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Kosakai, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose this is a necessary quality for one in the Serpe Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Commander, I read it from the Pearls clans, arrived. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Kozakai, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing things to the Survey Corps' efforts. And you will come to my office. All right, bro. So what you're telling me? If we cross this ocean and kill our enemies, will we finally be free? <laughs> uh, if we cross the sea, and kill our enemies, will we finally be free? Only rip only the real ones know that. <clears throat> I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlins. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Oh yes, this is where I want to go because I got some good Pokemon up in there. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Hmm. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Pit Island. Fire Spit Island, sorry. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this discretion or this desecration. My clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I entrust us to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. 
Let's get it. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Kosakai. Think nothing of it. Kosakai is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure, he will sort things out. Indeed, Kosakai quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Yes, ma'am. Silene. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Marlins. Much farther. And the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be able to you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Bet. Head to the Cobalt Coastlands and speak with Irida there. Bet. Arzu, you trying to trying to give me that? Oh. Hey there, they move for a style change. Ah, uh, honey, bro. God, anybody, man, taxing. Man, I done paid the 500, bro. You gonna finesse me like that, bitch, bro? I might, I might just have it. Oh, I don't remember them colors. Oh, that blue hard, though. I might do gold, though. That gold vibe. I ain't gonna count. Gold or white? Try to white. I'm gonna try to white. All right, Arzu, hook me up. Hook your boy up. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, if, if it isn't Kozakai. Lian. Oh, I remember this dude. Oh, I suppose it's to be expected that I run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Lian is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Yeah, they be sneak this, and that's crazy. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I should be airing dirty laundry. Oh, you a snitch, bro. It's all right. It's all right, bro. A piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. Yeah, no, I have one. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, Liam. What I'm trying to basically, what I'm trying to say is basically this. If you in the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Asui will be very important. There's even a tale, a t there's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sido used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stories, stones can be. To upgrade this fact into you here. I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Red pebbles. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. All right, let's keep it moving. Hang outside the villager, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Here we go, Cobalt Coastlands. I'm gonna head off to bed. I'll catch you later, fam. Bet. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. What the heck? Cobalt Coastlands. I remember seeing this in the trailer. <laughs> Mouse open. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of a sui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here? I wonder. Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply cannot wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget, you've a mission accomplished. So, any questions before you get started? About Fire Pit Island. Hmm, indeed. Fire Spit. Sorry, I keep saying Fire Pit. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you to speak to fellow to a fellow called Iskan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. All right, just can. Head to the Cobalt, Cobalt Coastlands. There's Irida, Irida, whatever her name is. Just chilling, looking at the sunset. Uh-oh.
Okay. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Okay, I'm game. <laughs> Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, not Glaceon. Bad matchup. And there's a wild Eevee over here. Oh, we Oko the Glaceon. That's tough. Can I catch this thing? No, no, I don't know about y'all. I'm, I'm trying to catch this Eevee because, uh. Oh, is that her Pokemon? Oh, I can't catch it. Wait, can I catch it? I'm gonna just try it, guys. I don't know if that's hers or not. I think it's hers. Dang it. Is it her Pokemon? Yeah, that's her Pokemon. Okay, I, I was hoping that was a wild one. Oh, well. You must die. And down goes Eevee. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within... Thank you. Let me to heal your Pokemon. I don't even need healing. That's crazy. All right. With you, I think with you, I can be frank. Can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan leader or your commander. But in truth, sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see? Oh, I love this music. This has some good music. Didn't it? Okay, I like it. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands. A lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady. And she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that it is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me. No matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to, to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if it succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up in the up on the headland. All the way over there? <sighs> Hit down the seal and turn left. You should find a slope leading up to, onto the ridge. All right, let's see how big this place is. Okay, okay, yeah, this place is kind of big. All right, new area. Oh, it's a glam meow, okay. I forgot I have to lock on. I haven't played this game in a while. What is that down there? Is that a Sphiel? Sphiels are friendly. Ain't that right, Sphiel? Yes. Oh, this is a big area. What the hell was that? Oh my god. A wall ring. Probably gonna have to fight that thing, so I gotta be careful. I'm gonna get in the grass over here. Bro, you really gotta arch that thing. Pause. Bro. Those things are heavy, bro. Here we caught the Poraglito. Nice.
I like this feather ball. They be flying. Oh, it's Apom. Nice. Huh? Better stay in that ball, boy. I need a vessel queen. No, I don't want to throw right horn. No, that was a terrible, terrible decision. No, oh my God, dude. Oh, that's a big Drapion. Oh no, wrong button. There we go. There we go. Caught a scurruppy. Oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who quelled the Lady of the Rich? Well, listen to this. A couple of Apom stole my pack of what, full goods, full of goods? Oh, look at them. <laughs> They've been darting around, leading me on a chase. Almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. Uh oh. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my backpack from those Apom? Yeah, I could. Where'd they go? Oh, it's Stanler. Oh, it's two palms. Already. Hello. Oh, great. They're running, Apom. You can't hide forever. Y'all can't hop up. Uh oh. Let's get it. We are not afraid. to rock smash. I can't choose with Apom to hit. Uh oh. Of course. I think all my Pokemon are weak to the ground. Sheesh. Down. Bro, these things are super strong, bro. Need a switch. I need to make some more potions. Let's try strong magical leaf. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oof. Anyways. Let's go. Sway palms down. 
<gasps> Doctors can evolve. Oh my god. Well, well, I see you chased down the napalm. Yes, we did. My goods are all safe. Thank goodness. How can I repay you? Let me think. Damn. All right. What's got in you? You look so meek all of a sudden. Are you actually feeling remorseful? Aye, aye. Oh, all right, all right. No hard feelings. Just stop it with this sad look. You're making me feel bad. Aye. I just hope you learn your lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, come on. You couldn't have even wait till I was done scolding you? Uh. I, I. It took my peanut berries. I'll save those for later. Just goes to show. You can't let your guard down around Pokemon. Because you will get finessed. Looks like Dartrix is ready to evolve, guys. Oh my god. Let's see it. New form. Let's see the new Decidui. Let's get it. Oh. Your Dartrix evolved into Decidui. Nice. Ooh, it can learn Aura Sphere, Leaf Blade, and Triple Arrows. That's way better. All right, let's see it out of this ball. Oh, yeah. It actually looks really cool. It is the zone. Five hours later. All right, guys, I may have jumped into the future if you guys are watching this video right now. Um, yeah, I look a little bit different. Drapion, shut up. Rapid Eye, shut up. You guys have noticed, yeah, I, uh, I did a little um, off stream, off, you know, video grinding. As you can see, I have four alpha Pokemon here. <laughs> uh, you see the Matt Choke, you see the Rhydon, the Rapid Ash, and the Drapion. I've also caught more alpha Pokemon and I will show you them. But yeah, we got the right. I mean, let me put some of these guys up. And they're all high level too 45, 40. The match choke here is massive as well. But you see, we have the right on. Yes, sir. You see how, guys, you see how massive this thing is? This thing is huge. Look at it. This thing is gigantic. And what sucks though the most about this thing is that he's literally the worst nature that it could have now i don't know if i can go back and catch another alpha right on so we'll see this thing is 10 feet tall right 500 pounds but as you see yeah it's literally the modest nature which is the worst nature it could possibly have so yeah that's that here's the machoke as you can see machoke's pretty big too so yeah i caught some alpha pokemon off stream off uh recording whatever you want to call it i took a break after that last stream from that last part i had to cut it so this is me jumping basically in the future here and now like a couple of weeks later but let me go, let me show you guys a couple of the alpha pokemon i have now um as you can see i got a golbat i got the golbat an onyx a geodude a hippowdon the barrel and a scyther and i actually want to evolve the scyther into a scissor because i already have a cleaver and it's actually a really good nature actually up to the speed lower special defense and i'm not too bad it's not even nature so but yeah mostly ground types we I mean, do have that golbat but uh other than that we have the decidui that i just showed you guys um and our cleaver Here's the Sijuai. Yep, it's just a regular size. Nothing too big. <laughs> it's pretty cool Pokemon, though. But yeah, I got that right on, man. I hate that it's freaking modest nature, but hopefully I can go back and try to shiny hunt its alpha form because this thing is dope. Because you guys know I love me some Rhydons. As you guys can see, you know, you know that's the it's the, it's the, it's the, the mascot, basically. So, and like, A-Drive has, uh, not Beautifly, but what is it called? Uh, whatever that one is called. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But basically where we left off, we came back over here to the, what is this called? Co place called the Cobalt Coastland, and it's pretty massive. Uh, the weather right now is pretty misty. Uh, it was raining just a second ago. I hate when it rains on this game because it's so loud. Um, this is where I caught the Drapion, the Alpha form Drapion at. I think that was the last Alpha one I caught, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I caught that. And we're going to go ahead and make our way through the story here. I know I've been dragging it out for a while, so we're going to keep it moving. Got some Epicorns. Don't have any space. Okay. That's odd. And as you guys can hear here, it's playing music. Like, I'm confused. Like, it doesn't really play music all the time. 
I feel like it should be playing music all the time because there's a lot of times where it has just like complete silence. Oh my god, is that a Star Raptor? Hey, this music is fire though. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yo, that thing is up there. Is that an alpha? Hold on, I can't really tell. Come up here. Is that an alpha star raptor? I don't think, I don't believe so. That thing is massive though, look at it flying. Beautiful, man. They did a good one with this game, man. This game is dope. I just keep it pushing P up here. It's this Pokemon right here. Motham, right? Kind of box. Oh snap, it hurts just by walking into it. Jesus. Is that a volcano over there or am I tripping? It's like a volcano over there. Yo, Pokemon attack moves actually go pretty far in this game. Like, kind of wall. Check over there. It looks like, yeah, it looks like there's an island over there with a whole volcano. Here is a Vulpix. I actually want to catch this thing. And we have caught a Vulpix. Nice. And we can evolve it too. We, I do have a Firestone. Ah, I love the music. Oh my god, that is a massive freaking cat. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we catch it? Did we catch it? Hell no. Alright, come on. We got it this time. We got it this time. Come on. We got it this time. We got it this time. Come on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Nope. Ah, uh, come on, we got it, we got it. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we're out here. See ya. Dude, if you fall off from right here, do you die? And what if I just run and just jump? If I run and jump right here, am I dead? Yo, I don't know if you noticed. Does that look like a hand? That definitely looks like a hand. Does that not look like a hand? Look, you got the thumb, one, two, three, four, that's four fingers. But that's definitely a hand. What is with all these cats everywhere? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's the new Arcanine forms, let's go. Not Arcanine, it's the new Growlithe forms. Come on, guy. The new Growlithe forms, Garawa. Hush, now settle down. Hello, that's Palina. I'm Palina of the Pro Clan, and who might you be? Kozuka, you know. Ah, oh, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. Yes, I am. I heard I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligan when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. Oh, I thank you. Uh -huh. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? Uh, the big one? That's what everyone says at first, but no. The quite skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous Lord. Ow. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I can never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So, now that you know your situ our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the hire. Air. A hire. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. Ah, uh, did Irida ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for Fire Spit Island? A survey of Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basilegion. If you wish to cross the sea. 
You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. Hey, that's what I'm trying to get right there. There's definitely something strange happening out on Fi Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. But then there's also the odd lightning that came from the r that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl, and the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered, revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reached our un an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, uh, but I digress. I do apologize. This can lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Wow. All right. The Lordless Land. Find the home of Iskan, a Diamond Clan Warden on Apom Hill. All right, bet. And we see the new growl forms. Like it, like it. And we're supposed to make it towards that island. Fire Spit Island. All right. We're going to get get the right on a Basque Legion now. This is dope. Can't wait for that. Oh my god! It's a shiny Starly. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. Hold on now. Yo, we got a shiny Starly? Are you serious? Oh my god. What? Naughty nature? What? First shiny of the playthrough, bro. Oh my gosh. Wow, I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. Let's go, man. <laughs> shiny Starly. Holy. Okay, guys. Hope you guys see next. I was shocked when I just see that. <laughs> what in the world? I, that was my first shiny I've seen in this game. That's crazy, man. All right, we're making it up here. Oh, look who it is. Annie. Oh, I mean, Bolo. Why, hello there, Mr. Kolskai. Fancy running to you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? So-so, I guess. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzy nobles. And when a great Pokemon recognizes you as a worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. Ilios? <laughs> the, one, the one who that said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The 10 Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Alright, it's can. I'm here, buddy. Do do I have a visitor? Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be right out. Give me a moment. <clears throat> oh, hey there, buddy. So, um, I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clan. Like Montel, a Galaxy team member with a Celestic flute. Oh, oh, you must be Cold Sky, right? Have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? I need Basque Legion's aid. So, you, you want to go to Fire Spit Island? Well, if you insist, then you probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, oh, it's um more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? I'll tell you. I have the right materials, but 
But then you, well, you see, this part is something I can never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. You, you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? <laughs> it's d d d Sclops. Oh, even saying his name fills me with dread. I think I have I caught a dust lops. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by dust clops dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Bashkul Legion's favorite food, you see. Got it. Wow, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um fearless you are. The dust uh, I can't even say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye, and it can be found wandering around Deadwood Hunt. Ah, uh, Deadwood Hunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. Ah, oh, see, I had it right. Like a hand. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I believe I have a camp out there, so that should be a quick travel. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, so now I know a lot about them. You see. W would you like to wait here until night when that Pokemon appears? Yes, I'll wait. Well then. Obtain the Dustlops, which could be found around Deadwood hunt during the night and take it with you to Iskan's home. All right, let's let's look at the map here. Deadwood hunt. Okay, see we have a camp out here. All right, I don't know if I already have a Dustlops, but we're going to try to catch one anyway. And there's one right there. All right, come on. First try. Let's go. First try. Yeah, we didn't have a dust toss before. Okay, that's our first one. All right, let me head back to the base, our, our camp over here, and put Dusclops in the team. All right, pal. Got Dusclops. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with the name that sounds like um, Dust Pops? Yep. Right here, pal. You really brought it. No, don't bring it out. Right. I guess I gotta do my part, seeing how um, determined you are. Let's go to the island with Basque Legion. Usually I'm um, asking enough to growl if she take cares, takes care of and help me with this a bit. But this time you need to you need to help since, well, since you're making this snack so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I get the signal, you have that dust pops of yours, use Dark Pulse. Okay. Three, two. Wow, no, it's too frightening. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. Could you get a grip? <laughs> really, bro? We're being scared, man. Right, so counting down to it just makes the anticipation and tear it worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go. Nice. Delicious Roma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. You obtained a ball of Basque Legion food. Nice. But the aroma of the shape, the, both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. And let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Go to Ginkgo Landing to call Basque Legion. There's a distortion over there, too, I see. All right, we're here. Oh, hello, Cold Sky. I was just waiting for you. Hello, it's Can. Nice face. Oh, no. Oh, pal, no. I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Cold Sky keeps a secret. Besides, both I and the girl with pups were eager to meet with the Great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. Let's hear it. Yes, sir. Sheesh. Uh, things big. Shra. Go on, close guy. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. 
do in the bowl of basket legion food oh shra great basket legion oh thank goodness I was a little worried about whether the Basket Legion would accept this off this favor. So, uh, Coast Kai, you should let Basket Legion hear you playing. <clears throat> hear you're playing. My bad. Sorry, guys. Play that thing, boy. Yes, sir. Hey, come on. Sir. Basket Legion, open his heart and learn to well the sound of your playing. You received a splash play from Basque Legion. Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. Wow, wow. My congratulations to you, Coast Guy. Wow. Pelona, do you want me to tell him? Do you. Pelona, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, this cannon Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Ice Can here. I truly adore him. Okay, Ice Can, I see you, my boy. But I know th there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Ice Can where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is, and not force him to be the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Yuskan. Ah, perhaps. We should save this discussion for another time, after all. <laughs> Rawr. Oh god, not these guys again. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll look to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spit thought you spotted a four-leaf clover. Well, I'll soon have you sing double. In the middle I'm the middle sister, and I'm the one clover you can't pick. Oh, is it supposed to be like Team Rocket? Heads, I win and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the Misfortune Sisters, known across the friggin' land of Hisui, and your list just ran out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. You want to take my partner? Your aim is to pester us with bad jokes. Those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. What? For a while? Uh-oh. Thanks for the growl of fools. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live if we want to live freely in the Great Land of Asui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We even make him a lord for you. Let's take the mutt to our camp and get it work. No one will bother us in a place so miserable be hot. So miserable be hot. So they must be going to Fire Spit Island. Nice. Okay, Gengar, I see you. I see you. What? No, Growlithe. What should we do, Cold Sky? This is an emergency, right? But uh, you see, I've never, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Cold Sky, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The place around the Cobalt Islands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Oh, now, you, now that you have Basque Legion to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find it in you to help, Helena? Of course. <laughs> well, <laughs> of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. We will make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. No, Paulina. You should wait here and keep little Growlithe slave safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though, I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits. No. Come, Ghost Guy. No time to think. We must go now. 
You should also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water surface and then jump once again in the air to even go even higher. Oh wow, it can double jump. You can throw items from Basque Legion's back too. In your case, I guess that mean even throwing more poke Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. Honestly, I have to admit, I'm still a little scared. Do you think you could head over for first? Yeah, man. Sorry, right. be a little baby. You can now call Basque Legion right across the water on his back. Right on Basque Legion, the Follow the bandits across the water to fire spot. All right, guys, it's going to be it for this part. Thank you guys for watching and following me through our journey through Pokemon Legends Arceus and through the playthrough. This game is super dope, man. I'm loving it. The storytelling is really good. Uh, we're getting some pretty strong Pokemon here. And we finally got Basque Legion, so now we can go across water. So that's going to be super dope. Being able to go across the sea and oceans uh, throughout this game. So make sure you guys smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and enjoy the content, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next part, man. Peace out. God bless. Peace.